Hey everyone, this is Andrew with Mantis 3D Printer. Today we're going to go over how to reduce the mesh size of an STL file. So to begin, we'll start out in Autodesk Mesh Mixer, and then hit Import. I'm going to be using the Adelinda Dragon file from Luby 3D. There's two versions of this file available, one with the standard mesh size and one with an already reduced mesh size. So essentially what we're going to be doing today is showing you how they would have gone about the process of reducing that mesh size if you happen to find a file that doesn't have the mesh size already reduced. So we'll import it. You'll see that it lines up in the center of the build plate. This won't matter for our purposes today. So we'll hit select and then I'm going to hit control A to select the entire model. From here we can hit edit, reduce, and then the software will go about reducing the file. It will initially reduce it to 50% of the original file size. And then you can actually go and be able to inspect and see what that looks like. You'll be able to see at least to some degree that some details, some of the more fine details will get lost in the model as you reduce the mesh size more. But I'm gonna bump it up to a 90% mesh reduction. You can type in a number here and hit enter and that won't close out of this process here, that'll just change the mesh size without accepting. That way you're able to preview each mesh percentage as you go. So you can see that the file changed there a bit. A lot of the triangles were reduced, so we'll hit accept. Since we like this file size, and now that we have accepted, one thing that's always good to do is to hit analysis and inspector. What this will do is make sure that there's no holes in the STL file that will cause the printer to run into an arrow when it attempts to slice it. So since we don't see any sticks poking out of it or anything that would indicate that there's a hole in the model, we can hit done, and then hit file, and export. So we'll export and call this dragon reduced. And there we go. You can just close out a mesh mixer and you'll be done.